Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on converging, conversion to grayscale for large amount of images in a single file. So the reason why we sometimes need to convert large amount of images to grayscale is because, because if you are running a object detection model and you have a large amount of training data set, testing data set, it may be more useful for you to convert the images to grayscale so that it will reduce the amount of training or the training time and this is also applicable if the training images or testing images um, is easily differentiated even if it is in grayscale so so um, to start off you will need to import OS as well as CV2 so um, we will be defining this function. So if you have been uh, following my tutorial, you have to see that actually I've been using this um, function multiple times in my tutorial. So I will define a function and I will call it loop image. And inside the loop image, I will have directory. So for file name in this os.list directory, um, we are looking for the file that ends with .jpg because we are trying to convert all those images that are in jpg to grayscale and if it founds the file name that ends with .jpg and fulfills this condition I want the path directory to the file name to be appended to the images and lastly I would like the function to return images so we'll let images to be an empty list and uh, we will use this as our directory. So what is inside this directory is just a folder that contains uh, doc1 and doc2. And let me show you doc1. Doc1 is a picture and doc2. Yep, that's both images. And so I will print out the images. This is just to see what's in the list. And um, for image images, um, we will read the, we will use cv2.amread to read the image and we will read the image to img and then we will be using cv2.cvt color and putting in img comma. So basically cv2.color blue vgr or blue green red to gray. So basically this line will convert the image to grayscale. So next we will need to split the image uh, by full stop and then we will take the zero position of the list. So what basically I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get the directory with the file name and exclude the file extension itself so that we can have the flexibility of choosing what are the file extension that we want. And finally we will use cv2.imwrite and uh, yeah and I would include this line which is convert gray to show that these are the images that is converted to um, grayscale and comma gray yeah that's about it let's see what happens here so um in the end what we in the end what we get is we will get to jpg file which is converted to grayscale this is the dot one and this is dot two so yeah so it doesn't matter how many images you have in the folder you can do its magic and convert the entire folder into the entire images in the folder into grayscale another thing to note is that if you have a specific directory that you actually want to save to you can do this as well i mean you just have to change this to the directory you want and so this is the end of my tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below. If not, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.